15-year-old mom puts baby up for adoption and 35 years later he says he's standing right behind her. We often hear incredible stories of people meeting family members again after many years. It is always emotional to witness these reunions, especially when the reunions are of people who were separated at birth and then meet again. This is what happened to Stacy Fakes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, now in her 50s, who had to make a very difficult decision over 35 years ago to give her baby son up for adoption. Fakes had almost given up on ever seeing her son again, when something unimaginable happened to her just before she was about to begin running the Pittsburgh Half Marathon in 2018. She was handed a letter from her biological son, Stephen Strawn, who after a lot of hard work and commitment, had managed to track his mother down and was there to meet her. Stacy Fakes was just 15 years old when she got pregnant. Just like most teens in that situation, she was scared, unprepared, and unsure of what to do. Ultimately, she made the painful decision to put her son up for adoption. She didn't even get to hold him. She didn't believe she would find him again. With so many babies and records, she had no idea how to track him down. She never thought she would see her biological son. And she didn't until 35 years later, as reported here by ABC News. As she was waiting at the starting line of the marathon in 2018, then 35-year-old Stephen Strawn, from Ohio, surprised his biological mother by handing her a mysterious letter. She was pretty confused, had no idea who he was or what was happening until she opened the letter. The letter read, It's been 13,075 days since you last saw me. I didn't want to make you wait one more. Not everyone would have understood that cryptic message, but fakes realized straight away what those words meant, and she was utterly overcome. She was finally able to embrace her son for the first time in over 35 years. It turns out that this was not the first time Strawn had tried to track down his biological mom. I've looked for years, Strawn told ABC. It's been dead ends. Tragically, Strawn's birth records were lost after a flood, and thus despite years of trying, he wasn't able to find his mother. However, in November 2017, a law was passed that allowed adoptees to request their birth certificate with their original birth parents on it. This changed everything as he was able to find his real mom's name and then began his search to locate her. April 16 will be a date Strawn will always remember, as it is the date he located his biological mom after 35 long years. He didn't waste any time in making contact and kept the momentum up by getting in touch the following morning. But Strawn wasn't able to plan and organize this incredible surprise all by himself he had the help of an organization he is part of and his newfound sisters. Strawn saw that Fakes was a member of Pittsburgh's chapter of Team Red, White, and Blue, RWB, which supports veterans. Strawn had served in the U.S. Air Force during the Iraq War. Being a veteran himself, he realized this was something else they had in common as Strawn is a member of the Ohio chapter. As his mother was running the Sunday Marathon with the Team RWB, he was able to contact the Pittsburgh chapter's president. All the support is incredible, Strawn told ABC. The organization helped him with everything from the perfect timing, to the media being ready to report on the story, to the preparation for the race itself. He was incredibly grateful and appreciative of everyone's efforts for something that was such a special and memorable moment for him. The one thing that Strawn did have to do was hide. And where best to hide? His wife had this one covered. He hid inside a portable bathroom close to where his mom was standing, and when his wife gave him the signal, he knew it was time to step outside and meet her. I got really choked up and teared up. As we were holding and hugging, she said, I never got to hold you, and that kind of just broke my heart. It was a prearranged adoption and it was not recommended for her to hold me, Strawn recalled. Reminiscing on that important day that Fakes gave her baby up for adoption, she told ABC affiliate WTAE. They didn't want me to hold him, they didn't recommend it. She continued by saying what their embrace meant to her, so I finally got to hold him. We can only imagine what it must be like to hold your child in your arms again after thinking you would never get to meet them. The stuff of dreams. For the parents who had to give up their children for whatever reason, don't lose hope, Fakes continued. Strawn was also excited to meet his biological sisters. They also played a crucial role in setting up the surprise. 
When they were all together, they indulged in a group ugly cry. The marathon will be one that both Fakes and Strawn will never forget because they were able to run it together. After they had completed the race, they had a tasty cookout together, and Strawn said there was a lot more ugly crying, but also that the pair were able to talk lots together. When one of Strawn's biological sisters graduated from college, he and his wife went back to Pittsburgh to celebrate the occasion with the family. When reflecting on the whole situation and how it all turned out, Strawn said, it's something you see in the movies. Everything was perfect. This is a wonderful reunion, and we hope they go on to have many more in the future and make up for lost time. It's a lovely message that even if you think something is impossible, and even when you've given up hope, miracles can and do happen. Pass this heartwarming story about a family reuniting on to your friends and loved ones. Let them know you feel lucky to have them in your life. And don't forget to let us know what you think of this story have you ever experienced something similar?